And you do need to know how to use a gun. You do. You need to take the time to know what the procedure is. Hello and welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most authentic voice in true crime. Nicholas Cage has said something we didn't realize Alec Baldwin needed to hear. I mean, it goes without saying, doesn't it, that cowboys in a cowboy movie should know how to use a gun. But do they? In his interview with ABC, I think Baldwin said he was taught effectively not to interfere. On day one of my instruction in this business, people said to me, never take a gun and go click, 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 because even though it's incremental, you damage the firing pin on the gun if you do that. Don't do My impression of what he said on ABC was that don't interfere. Handling the gun is the job of the armorer and it's someone else's job to do the final checks because the actor can't be the final line of defense or something. And the prop person would come and sometimes they would insist on demonstrating for you and the camera crew. And in the 40 years I've been in this business, all the way up until that day, I never had a problem. Do you remember Baldwin also said if he fiddled or checked the gun, then the armorer would have to redo his check as if that would be such a big deal. You know, he didn't want to be the final line of, the, of defense. The actor can't be the final line of defense. Do you remember him saying that? And that it's actually the job of the armorer to do the check. But Nicolas Cage, an actor who once upon a time in Hollywood had the same armor as Baldwin, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, and also got quite upset with her at one stage, has said that actors need to know what they're doing. On a cowboy movie in particular, an actor who's a gunslinger should know how to use a gun. And so what he said on, I think it's the Hollywood Reporter um, he said, I don't want to blame anyone. He said, I don't want to cast blame anywhere. And then he said, and this is the full quote, he said, but I do think, and I'm not talking about anybody, but people don't like the word movie star. We want to be humble actors. But a movie star is a bit of a different kind of presentation because you need to know how to ride a horse. You need to know how to fight. You, you're going to do fight scenes. You need to know how to ride a motorcycle. You need to know how to use a stick shift and drive sports cars. And you do need to know how to use a gun. You do. You need to take the time to know what the procedure is. Those are part of the job profiles. Now, the irony is that if Baldwin had to shoot from the hip and say something like, you know how many times I've been in movies with guns? I know guns and I know protocol. If he said something like that, he could theoretically lose part of his defense. And so what is quite interesting is he did respond to what George Clooney said. And I think George Clooney was a little bit less on the chin than Nicolas Cage. But um, imagine Baldwin responding to Nicolas Cage saying, you need to know how to use a gun. Your protocol is you check the gun every time. Well, good for you. Good for you. I mean, I probably handled weapons as much as any other actor in films. So if he had the experience, if he handled a gun just as much as any other actor, not less so, then shouldn't he have known to check? Shouldn't he have known how guns work? His defense seems to be that he didn't pull the trigger, that others told him what to do and where, and where to point as well, and that despite being not only the lead actor, but the producer, responsibility lay elsewhere. In other words, in his version, he seems to lose all initiative. He is, as I've stressed numerous times, passive in his own story. He's a passive actor in a cowboy movie in a particular action scene. But does that make sense? It does seem to be an indirect nod to the fact that he wasn't supposed to know guns or have anything to do with them, except do as he was told. But this is a cowboy movie and had many days, around half of the scheduled shooting days, scheduled for gunfights. If Nicolas Cage and George Clooney are in the habit of checking firearms and knowing how they work, there were other actors on the Rust set that were too, according to an article on CNN. And this is quoting from that article, quote, 
Rust actor Ian A. Hudson in his first principal role on a big film, playing an outlaw who is shot by sheriffs, said in an interview with TMZ he held his tongue, but noted that veteran actors were double and triple checking weapons given to them by the armorer to ensure they were cold or hot, shorthand on set for empty or loaded with a live round that could be a bullet or a blank. And that same actor, Ian A. Hudson, said this on his Instagram, and I'll put a link to this in the description. Ian A. Hudson said, quote, Multiple blank rounds were fired at me over multiple takes. And I think he's referring to on the set of Rust, in the, the Rust scenario. And he said, I felt pieces of the blanks hitting my body and my face. I felt the heavy thud of air from the shotgun blanks hit me in the chest. I've been reassured that this is normal one too many times. End quote. Hudson, not to be confused with Helena Hutchins, said he felt a lack of basic human rights is to blame for what happened on set, what happened to Helena. That and him saying that he held his tongue seems to indicate it wasn't safe or that he felt that it wasn't okay to complain or point out or raise the issue when things seemed dangerous. And you had a similar scenario like that in um, Midnight Rider, where a lot of people felt nervous about where they were setting up, but nobody said anything. In fact, Hudson's response to Elena's death was that it could have been him. It could so easily have been him. And since there were scenes in the film where blanks were fired at him, he literally felt as if he dodged a bullet. And perhaps he had. Hudson also writes, quote, But do we really have to continue to wait till people are dying to make a change? End quote. It will be interesting to know whether Baldwin did know his way around guns on other sets in other movies and whether he possibly got a little rusty on this one. I had a protocol and it never let me down. Why did you choose in your 40 years not to check the gun yourself? What I was taught by someone years ago was, as I said, if I, if I took a gun and I popped a clip out of a gun or I manipulated the chamber of a gun, they would take the gun away from me and redo it. The prop person said, don't do that, when I was young. And they'd say, one thing you need to understand is we don't want the actor to be the last line of defense against a catastrophic breach of safety with the gun. And you do need to know how to use a gun. You do. You need to take the time to know what the procedure is.